What's up folks, welcome back to the channel, Loser here, thanks for stopping by. Well, we got a big session here today, we got 2x Sacred Shard Chance, so double chance at pulling legendaries from Sacred Shards. We also have a pretty cool event with the 10x Unity Champion here, Fomond, Fomond? Anyways, he hits, uh, his kit looks like he hits super hard. Um, his faction Unity stuff seems insanely good. Uh, he has this really cool passive which decreases his, his incoming damage um yeah he seems like a good champion even without the faction unity stuff um but uh with the faction unity stuff he seems completely busted um but the problem is the sacred order faction is not going to be insane for like live arena or arena or anything like that um but you could maybe get him into some hydra stuff with uh cardio or uh and Venus, like uh, those type of teams, even like low level with Cupidus, Cupidus can do some damage in levels as well. So, Fallman can be pretty good in that regard. So, he should be a pretty good champion to play with. Of course, he's going to be pretty rare to get. He's brand new and all that stuff. Um, if you pull a legendary, the rough chance of getting a non void on a 10x is about 5.5%, maybe 6%. Um, so the odds of getting him are extremely low, even if you pull le legendary anyways. But anyways, in this video, we got tons of sacred shards ready to go, guys. Uh, keep in mind, there's also a summon rush event paired with a 2x sacred event, which is really, really nice. Um, you get really good value for your sacred shard pulls. Um, only six needed for the max fragments, which is in line with the previous fusions totals. So no real crazy uh, surprises here, so that's really nice to see. Um, so good time to pull your sacred shards, but you know when it's a really good time to pull something, it feels like Plarium setting us up for something. Maybe there's a guarantee sacred in the future uh, or near future, something to keep in mind. Um, but like I said, we got lots of sacred shards in this video to go through. Lots of people we're pulling for today. On this account, we got Raftar, level 88. He's going for the uh, max fragment, so we're going to pop six here. So let's do that. Uh, wait a minute, where is the progressive chance? Oh, no, it's not progressive chance, just the 10x boost. Sorry. <laughs> Keep thinking about that progressive um, mistake that happened last time where they didn't have the progressive champion slot for us. Um, okay, this time it's just a 10x, so it's fine. So let's pull six. Let's get into it. Let's see how many Legos we can pull today, guys. Boom, right off the bat. And Narma. <laughs> okay, let's start this video off with a bang. Narma is actually a pretty good um, uh, poisoner. Uh, the problem is she takes, I believe, 16 books. Two, four, six. Two, four, six. Two, four. 16 books. Yeah, she takes 16 books. She's a good poisoner. But for 16 legendary books, she doesn't bring too much more um, compared to like a regular uh, Frozen Banshee, for example. She does bring decreased attack, which is nice. Um, but she brings basically the same amount of poisons as as a Frozen Banshee. But let's start it off with a bang. We got Lego right on the first shard for Raftar here. Maybe it's a dupe. Another one back to back. Jintaro shows up. Oh, this video is going to be nice. We got tons of sacred shards. <laughs> He's probably one of the best uh, damage dealers for single hit uh, bosses. Uh, so, sorry, single target bosses. What has he got here? He's got this uh, five hitter here. Decreased defense and weaken as well. He brings a ton of damage to clan boss. One of the best da clan boss damage dealers here. Congratulations on Jintaro. We got four more sacreds for Raftar. Let's keep going. Man, two back to back to start. Great start, guys. Great start. All right, great start. We got three left for Raftar here. All right, moving on. Slowing down, slowing down, slowing down. All right, last pull for Raftar. And boom. Can't be too upset with two Legos from six Sacred Shards here for Raftar. Thanks for letting me pull on your account, man. We'll be back. We got lots of Sacreds to pull. Let's get into it. All right, guys. Next up, we got Desan here, level 93. Looking to pull four Sacred Shards for him. So let's pop it. Best of luck to you, Desan. Let's go. Four Sacreds and a Dream. Can we get some lucky, lucky boosted Lego odds for him? Counselor, the one of the ally attack 
Skull Crusher. Skull Crusher is pretty good. Great epic counterattack. Let's see. Level 93 might be helpful. Nazana. I used Nazana to get through Spider 20 the first uh, time I had to go through Spider 20. And last Sacred Shard, we got Fang Clear. So no luck for D San here. Sorry about that. Thanks for letting me pull on your account. We'll be back on our next account for more, more Sacred Shards. On we go. We got Agatho here, level 95. What are we doing here? We're doing all his sacreds? 16 sacreds, it looks like. 16 sacreds here. Nope, nope. Just, uh, just six sacreds. Just six sacreds. So let's do it. Good luck, Agatho. Good luck. Let's go. 12% chance at legendary. Crimson Helm. Solo Bombo back in the day. Still can do it. Still can do it. Priest Orange. Still can solo a bunch of dragon stuff. So if you need Priest Orange, actually not too bad for a solo option. There we go. We got some gold here. Wow. Newly buffed Queen Eva shows up for a cast. Very, very nice. A2 block revive. Super strong hit here. Uh, she got buffed into relevancy. Um, as a block revive champion, she's very, very strong. So if you got Queen El uh, Eva, definitely pull her out. One of the worst Legos back in the day. No longer so now after her buff. So congratulations on Queen Eva. We got three more shards for Agatho here. Best of luck. 12% chance at Lego Goldness. Keep going here. I think this is the last one for Cass. Vector Draft, very, very solid. Actually, we got one more for Cass here, or Gatho. No more gold. We pulled Queen Eva, which is a pretty good pull in six Sacred Shards. So congratulations on that. Thanks for letting me pull in your account, man. You're right back with the next account. Hopping over to Goob's account here, level 100. We're pulling for Max Frags as well. We got 12 here, but we're only going to pull six. 12% chance at Lego. Let's pop those six for Goob's. Best of luck, man. Let's go. Six Sacreds. Let's go. Come on. Get some gold. Gold for everybody. Let's do it. Etor, no thanks. Go away. Right. Pan. Move along. Third sacred shard for goobs here. We got gold right here on the third one. We got arrow. Force damage based nuker. Hits pretty hard actually. He got buffed. Um, I think last year he got buffed. Um, but anyways, he hits pretty hard, but that's kind of all he's got going for him. Not too uh, not too pumped for him. Maybe if he pulled the Unity champion maybe you can make arrow pretty good i don't know but uh, not super exciting um as a single target uh nuker i think here steel actually he got an aoe now he used to be, i think he used to be a single target anyways he's really really um single like single usage uh damage dealer got two more here for goobs See if we can get lucky and get gold again. 12% chance only. Tessa. Last Sacred Shard for Goobs. Coming in with Arrow in 6. Not too bad. So, Batman. Good epic. Not going to be helpful for this account. But, congratulations. Thanks for letting me pull in your account. We'll be back on our next account for some more Sacreds. Alright, we're back with Zyrum here. Let's do it. We got uh, Max Frags requested. We got 6 Sacred Shards to pull. Best of luck to you, Zyrum. 12% chance. Let's get it. Let's go. Let's go. Level 70. Lots gonna help. Gonna lots gonna help this guy. Uh, if you didn't do uh, faction wars yet, Holfrey is gonna carry you through his faction. Very very good. Epic support. Let's go. Come on. All right, this uh, Hexia. No thanks. Let's get some gold for Zyrum here. Boom. There it is. Gold, and it's going to be Astrolith. Nice. Astrolith is the one of the best bomb champions, mainly because her bombs cannot be resisted. Very strong option for the arena. Comes with the speed aura as well. And then this kind of um, annoying um, health, uh, health swap thing. Um, but yeah, she puts the bombs, irresistible, super nice uh, champion. More niche, but since bomb, bombs are kind of coming back in like live arena, um, so she might actually be very, very useful for you down the line. Congratulations on that. On Astrolith. Etor. No thanks. We've got two more sacreds here for Zyrum. Already striking gold. Can we hit gold again? 
a Rel. Decreased defense. Four turn cooldown though on the High Elves faction. No more gold. Got one from six. Not too bad. We'll take it and we'll be on our way. Thanks a lot for letting me pull on your account, man. We'll be back on our next account. All right, going into Mr. Magoo's account here. We're going for max frags. So six sacreds to go for Magoo. He's got 12 in the bank, but we're only doing six. Looking for looking for Duchess. So let's see if we can pull him something nice. Let's go. Best of luck, Magoo. Let's get some gold at least. Hoping for Duchess, but any gold I think we'll, uh, we'll be happy to take here. Let's see. Wielden, very good epic. Very, very good epic, especially for Hardfire Knight. It's just generally a good champion too. Three down from a goo. Let's see if we can get gold in the last three. Come on. 12% chance. 12% no four turn cooldown on a blocked debuff. Come on. Come on. Let's get it. Alicia, very good. Um, what is it? Decreased defense. No books. No books needed. Alright, last Sacred Shard for Magoo. Let's get gold. No, no gold for Magoo this time. Sorry, bud. Yeah, you got the Polar Bear at the end. Not even the Black Bear. So, no luck for Magoo this time. We'll be back on our next account for some more Sacreds. Alright, back in it with Steve's account here. We're going for Max Fragment. So, just six Sacreds. He's holding on to 12. Holding on to a couple. Got 12% chance. Let's do it. Best of luck, man. Best of luck. Let's go. Let's get something nice for Mr. Steve here. Anything? Let's go. Epic. Thanks. Pulling six. Six sacreds. You know, it's a reasonable price, actually. Uh, or at least it's not a surprising price for the summon rush. So everything, uh, yeah. All right. We got our gold here. It's like it's going to be Grow Hack the Bloody. Can't be too excited about this guy. Um, I don't know what this guy's made for. Doesn't do enough damage. He doesn't have CC or anything. Like, yeah, he's just not a great champion. Move along. Move along. We got three more to go. Maybe we can pull another. There we go. Back to back. Let's go. Drexar. Oh my god. Oh my god. Free, free fragment champion. Um, you know, not not what you want to see. I mean, you got two gold, which is really really nice. But Drexar, in his own right, is a great champion. But, you know, at this point, for a level 100 account, you're, he's probably going to be a dupe at best. At worst, he's a triple. But we got two more secrets for Steve here. Let's see if we can get lucky again. So far, two is the most on six shards that we pulled so far. Ugo, one of the best epics for Hydra, if not the best epic. Last sacred shard here for... Steve, and that's going to be it. We got two Legos. I mean, can't really complain about two Legos, but they're not the best Legos. Anyways, that's how the that's how this stuff goes. There's tons of non-void Legos. So, anyways, thanks for letting me pull in your account, Steve. We'll be back on our next account. All right, we're in Alucard's account. Let's go. We're going for Max Fragments. So it's going to be six sacreds here. Again, this guy has, Alucard has 12 sacreds, so everyone seems to have the same amount of sacreds. Um, but yeah, pulling for six, six sacreds here. Um, and yeah, best of luck, man. Thanks for letting me pull on your account. Let's go. 12% chance, six sacreds. Let's get it. We got two Legos for Steve in the last, last pull, uh, uh, last account that we pulled. Let's see if we can get lucky here for Alucard's account. Blood Beast Feeder. Odd beast feeder, no thanks. Third sacred pulled polar bear, no thanks. Come on, let's go. Three more. Let's get him something here. Gold, boom, there it is. And <laughs> congratulations, man. I don't know if it's your second one or what, but there it is. If it's your second one, congratulations. You got your Mr. Nutman. He's got the triple hit max HP slam. Congratulations. This is a massive pull if it's your second one, dude. If it's your first one, you're a level 100. You should be doing the fusions. If you're if it's your second one, congratulations, man. Huge, huge pull. Huge non non-void legendary pull. Congratulations. We got two more sacreds to go. Can we get lucky again for Alucard? Massive pull there. Newt coming in back to back again. Oh, Drexar showing up again. Holy cow. He shows up in two accounts and he's always the back to back 
Lego. Um, yeah, Drexar showed up twice on this session already. We got the AOE Provoke. We got the HP Burn Passive. Great champ, but he's a he's a he was a freebie. So at best he's a dupe. At worst he's a triple or worse. Last sacred for Alucard here. Can we make it three in a row? We haven't done three in a row yet. No three in a row. Asking for a bit much, but back to back we got a newt for Alucard here. Congratulations, dude. Thanks for letting me point your account. We'll be back on our next account for more sacreds, guys. There's more to come. All right, back in here with level 98 Zuck. Going for what are we going on here? We're going for Duchess. Second Newt, but uh, best of luck to you, man. Thanks for letting me pull in your account. We got 12 sacreds again. He's pulling six for the frags. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Looks like these guys are exercising some pretty good restraint. It's good to see, guys. Let's see if we can get lucky here for Mr. Zuck. First one. All right, let's go. We got five more sacreds here. Five more. Come on, 12% chance at Lego. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. You don't want to see the epics from uh, from the sacreds here. Well, got a little psyched out there from that little pause. Got three more sacreds. Come on, let's get Zuck something here. Let's go, come on. Oh, psyched out again by the little pause. Three more sacreds here. Come on. Don't run dry here. Don't run dry. Come on. This guy, look at this guy. He's actually pretty good. A lot of people like this guy for faction war, obviously. He's got the team revive here. He's a good support champion. Yeah, a lot of people like this guy, especially for Faction Wars. Last Sacred. Come on. No. No. Empty. You know, not too many not too many empty uh, empty pull sessions for people here on this video. But uh, yeah, it does. Yeah, we're still batting uphill, right? The odds are only 12%, which is not a guarantee from 6 Sacred Shards. So, sorry about that, Zuck. Thanks for letting me pull your account, man. We'll be back on our next account for some more pulls. All right, guys. We're in Laker's account here, level 67. Let's pull him something nice for an early account here. Seven sacreds. I'm only going to pull six for the frags. So let's do it, man. Best of luck going here for the Lakers. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. 12% chance at a legendary. Of course, lots of epics will be helpful for a young account like this. Hopefully we can pull something nice. I haven't seen any, too many epics that really shake up any account. No Geomancer, for example. We saw one Ugo earlier. So far, nothing from these three. Basilisk can help in the um, Lizardman secret rooms. Does some damage, actually. Some good AoE damage. Bearing Geary can solo Bommel with the right gear, of course. Maybe that's helpful. Running out of sacreds for Lakers here. Uh, Maroka, she has the, I believe, Revival of Death. Yes, you can do some stuff with her for um, Sand Devil, actually, if you can make a team around her. Maybe. Last Sacred Shard for Lakers. Not too much luck here. Can we get the Lego? No, no Lego. Here's our Gala. Bringing the pain with the four-turn decrease defense. AoE. That's about it. That's going to be it for Lakers here. Thanks for letting me pull in your account, man. We'll be back on our next account. All right, coming in here, level 67, we got Lucky. He's run by Coleheart in our clan cluster. Best of luck to you, man. He's going for the 15 fragments. He's got only five sacred, so we're going to have to top up here with the void shards. Let's do the five void shards first, and then we'll finish it off with the five sacred shards. So let's go, five void shards. Can we get super lucky here, level 67 only? Sure, lots of stuff will be helpful to Lucky here. Two, second void shard or nothing super exciting third void shard hero specs fourth void shard and then one more void shard cold hard pain keeper renegade come on paragon lots of rares nothing Fellhound. i guess Fellhound can do stuff but anyways off to the sacred shards we got 12 percent chance here good luck to you lucky what do we got we got cc luck here do we got any more any more cc luck we've been kind of dry actually for a little bit there we go we got the gold here for lucky and it's going to be boragar the elder he's bringing the big shields here bringing the increased resistance increased speed four turn cooldown here he's kind of a support but he's honestly not super 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 relevant so mainly yeah he's not super relevant allies received 10 less damage from champions whose res is lower 
A little bit of damage reduction here, but it's not going to be super, super strong. Got three seconds left. Best of luck to you, Lucky. Got one Lego at least. I mean, got two more to go. Secrets here. Can we get Lucky again? Yes, we got another gold here. Knocked the Paralyzer showing up. He's bringing the sleep. He's got, what is it? AoE, 100% chance to sleep with the books. Then places, and also has a poison on it as well. Um, yeah, you can use him for Sand Devil and stuff like that. But yeah. He's a cool looking champ maybe we'll find some more use for him in the future when sleep maybe becomes more relevant not something you really want to see as a level 67 that's for sure one more sacred for you gold again nope we got two from five pretty good thylisa is actually a pretty good champion as well for a new account like i said we got the aoe decreased defense no books needed so congratulations on the two legendaries lucky best uh thanks for letting me pull on your account and we'll be back on our next account all right on our next account here we got lemon level 100 he's got 16 sacred shards but we're going for the max frags here so again exercising restraint good job guys good job exercising restraint only pulling six let's go six for you let's see if we can get some legos here annabelle very good incredible epic against bommel she has she's the, probably the best option for bommel just full regen set and you can just beat bommel up by herself very very good epic for that role second sacred shard here going that outfit's just ridiculous there we go we got the gold here eva again awesome if he doesn't have eva eva's gonna be a nice champion to play with like i was saying we pulled eva earlier in the poll session she's got one of the best a2s for the arena um definitely one of the best block revive skills in the game right now so eva buffed into relevancy going from worse one of the worst legos and now into uh actually quite a decent lego so congratulations on eva let's go we got a couple more sacreds here 16 down to 10. Gordon, no thank you two sacreds left here for lemon picking up queen eva along the way so congratulations on that one really really nice last sacred shard here for lemon 12 percent chance no more legos queen eva in the bank not too bad of a pull session, I would say, for six Sacred Shards. And Credit's actually a very decent champion as well. So, But definitely not going to help Lemon out here on his level 100 account. Thanks for letting me pull, man. We'll be back on our next account for some more pulls. All right, next up we got Jake, level 93. Mr. Jake from Steak Farm. Let's see if we can get him something nice. He's going for the Max Fragments from 11 Sacreds. So let's do it. Best of luck here. 12% chance. We've been pulling lots and lots of gold this whole video. So let's see if we can get some gold here for Jake. Let's go. Let's go. Five sacreds to go here. Let's go. Oh, I got kind of psyched out there a little bit. Jingle Hunter, no thank you. We got four sacreds left. Come on, let's get some gold here for Jake. Okay, let's, how about... How about another Drexar? Drexar, we pulled some multiples today. Go from 11 down to 5. Two more sacreds here. Come on. Give him something. Nope, 12% chance. Grizzle Jarl, last sacred shard here for Jake. And nothing comes up short this time. Sorry about that, Jake. Yeah, nothing nothing too exciting here, especially from the epics. I think lock winning might be an Akage fusion piece. Maybe that's going to be helpful for you, man. Anyways, thanks for letting me pull in your account. We'll be back on our next account for some more pulls. All right, back in Demio accounts here, level 80. Two. Sorry, I just collected your gems there because it's getting close to cap. But we're pulling all his sacred shards here today. We got six to go. Best of luck to you, man. 12% chance. Let's see if we can get something here for Demio. Level 82. Lots gonna help him. Let's pull some, pull some, pull something, pull something here. Come on. Come on. Nope. No, thank you, Burgoth. Burgoth actually helped me finish Faction Wars. He has like a really low percentage chance to provoke, but that was really helpful against the Valk Waves. Rain Beast. No, thank you. Got three sacreds left here for Demio. Come on. Don't leave him empty handed, guys. Come on. Come on, Plarium. Bless these remaining shards. Dr. Pierce got the AoE decreased defense for the Orc Faction. Solid epic. Two sacreds left to go. Ugh. Virgus, pretty good epic for the high elves as well. Consolo, Scarab King, for example. Last sacred here. Can we get some get some luck? Get some luck here. No, 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 no luck for Demio. Sorry, man. Sorry about that. 
Best of luck next time. Thanks for letting me pull in your account. We'll be back on our next account. All right, now we're in 2XT's account here, level 100. Big, big account here. We got 12 sacreds in the bank, but we're only pulling six. Again, great restraint, guys. <laughs> Good to see. You. Let's do this. Best of luck to you, man. Hopefully, we get some gold for you. Six sacred shards, 12% chance each pull. With this level of account, we're definitely looking for gold only. No epic's going to change anything for Mr. 2XT here. Come on, let's get some gold. Let's get some gold. Let's get that CC luck going. We've been kind of dry on the gold for the last couple of accounts here. Let's go. Got three sacreds left for 2XT here. Come on. Come on. Got two more, two more sacreds. Two more sacreds. Let's go. Second last one. No, don't don't do this. Don't do this. Don't let us come dry. We gotta take a pause here. Take a pause here and go. Can't be dry. Dry again. No. Three accounts in a row. We've been dry. Oh no. We had a big burst early, but now we're getting a little bit dry on the Legos. Sorry, man. Best of luck next time. Thanks for letting me pull in your account, dude. We'll be back on our next account. All right, moving on. We got Jobby's account here. Big account as well. 21 million player power. He's got 11 sacred shards in the bank. He's looking for all the fragments. So six sacred shards holding five back from his total 11 in the bank. So let's go six sacred shards here. Best of luck, Jobby. Let's go. Let's get some gold. Come on. We've been dry. We've been dry for a little bit here. We've been dry for a little bit. Let's get some lightning. I'm running I'm running low on the energy here. You know, the, the dopamine is going away. Eat that dopamine, guys. 12% chance to, to strike. Come on. No epics for this guy. No epics needed. Only gold. Gold allowed only. Nope. Thank you. Come on. I know you got something in there. Still nothing. Oh man, we're down to our last sacred shard for Joppy here. Best of luck on this last one. And no, dry again. Oh man, these are so brutal. I mean, in all fairness, trying to get one Lego from six sacred shards is probably you have to get a little bit luckier against the odds. But we did go dry for I believe a couple of counts now, so definitely running running dry on the on lightning here but thanks for letting me pull your account jobby we'll be back on our next account for some more pulls all right onto our next account here we got level 94 outdated level 94 he's holding on to 23 sacreds this is the crazy man we got in the bunch today he's looking for the final milestone for the summon rush so 7500 that's going to be 15 15 sacred shards i mean let's do it man let's see if we can Let's see if we can get super lucky here for Outdated. We did get super lucky for him last pull video. We pulled him a, a Newt and a Kaimar. So we got super lucky for him last time. He's banking on our CC, CC luck here. Best of luck, man. 15 Sacred Shards. I hope, hope for the best here. Let's go. Good luck, man. Good luck. Level 94. 15 Sacred Shards. Let's go. Go, let's go looking for gold although epics might actually help uh, outdated here but definitely want the gold 23 sacred shards pulling down to pulling down to eight agnar one of the best epic nukers in the game maybe useful if you don't have a magnar all right rogar here pretty good epic as well one of the best for hydra and various dungeon content go come on We'll make us wait. Seeker. Yeah, there we go. Another top tier epic if you don't have Seeker. Come on. There we go. First gold. Ah, Hawkhorn Smash Lord. Super power crep uh, legendary here. He, uh, he was my first legendary that I pulled on one of my accounts. My first account. Big thing about him is that he comes with the uh, four, turn, uh, four turn cleanse here. Super outdated now. But I mean, you know... I did use them in some stages in Centranos where the cleanse was actually pretty useful. So you don't really need to build them with any kind of crazy stats or anything. He does have a stun on his A1, but the cleanse is what this guy is all about. So anyways, not the best pull here. Let's see what else we can get. We still have nine sacreds to go. So let's go nine sacreds. Let's go. We got um, Jamie Lannister. No, thank you. Come on. Come on. Come on. We got we need more than just Hawkorn Smash Lord. Come on. 
2x chance, double chance boosted here for Legos. Come on, let's get him something. Hard to beat Nut and Kaimar in your last pull session, but how about well, yeah, Duchess? Duchess would be pretty good. Unity champion, that would be pretty cool, right? Four more sacreds, come on, don't do him like this. 15 sacred shards, don't do him with just a smash lord, come on. Hope this is like sobering reminder that even though you have lots of sacred shards, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to get any Legos. But two more here for outdated, and then he's going to be capped out on the summon rush rewards. Alright, we're heading down to our last sacred here, best of luck man. And come on. Mm, man, just a Hawkhorn Smash Lord to go from 15 sacred. So not the best pull luck this time around. Thanks for letting me pull in your account, man. Uh, I mean, you know, you got to kind of pay your tax a little bit on the the Nut and Kaimar last time. But uh, yeah, I wish I would have pulled a little bit more Legos for you outdated. But thanks for letting me pull in your account, man. We'll be back. I got my accounts to pull. So we'll be right back with those. So stay tuned. Alright guys, so on my second account here, I am sitting on 20 Sacred Shards. Although I am sitting on 20 Sacred Shards, I'm only going for the first milestone of the Summon Rush. Um, so I'm only going for the 2250 Fragments here. I'm using my free 10 skips to skip this one. It's going to save me 2 Sacred Shards in the long run here. So I'm only going to pull 4 and then I have 250 Mystery Shards to go through. I can go through that off camera of course. Um, so we got, yeah, we got four Sacred Shards here for my alt account. Let's get it. 12% chance. Let's see what my Mercy's at. Looks like our Mercy is pretty high. Our Mercy's at 17 right now. So not the best time to be pulling uh, Sacred Shards because you want to pull this during your uh, 1 plus 1 event. But, you know, we could go dry in four Shards and then we'll be pretty set up pretty well. Um, but, yeah, let's see what happens here. We got four Sacred Shards to go on this account going to be boosted we're in mercy already right let's go let's go no epics for me geomancer is the only one i'm missing i think on this account two more sacreds Rag. sacred here and then we'll be off to our main account for some more pulls all right you know what you know what we couldn't even hit Lego on 2x boosted, so now we're sitting at 21, 8, 21 sacred since our last legendary. That means we're perfectly set up for a 1 plus 1 event, hopefully. <laughs> you know, not the end of the world. We got our frags, and uh, yeah, we'll be pulling on our main account, so let's do them over there. All right, we're on the last account for the video is my main account. I'm sitting on 11 sacreds. I'm also only going for the... Um, five fragments here and I'm going to skip the 10 fragments here and then complete the rest of the events for the fusion so no problems the only four sacreds for me it's going to leave me with seven behind and uh, let's check my mercy here real quick let's see seven so we are still not in mercy it's been seven shards since our last pull so we've got to get pretty lucky here only 12% chance so let's see what we can get maybe we'll get lucky Let's see here. Come on. Let's see. Maybe I can get the Faction Unity Champion. That'd be pretty cool. Not, not, uh, not holding my breath for any gold today. 12% chance each guard. We're not going to hit Mercy today. Like we're down to our last one. Can we get lucky? Oh, we actually do get lucky. <laughs> or unlucky. I mean, Scartosis. Scartosis, ugh. He's uh, I, I would say this is an unlucky pull. Um, yeah, a little bit unlucky. I mean, he might be a dupe. I would say this is unlucky since it kind of resets our timer back to zero. This was our 11th sacred since our last legendary. So we were just outside of Mercy. Might be a dupe. If he's a dupe, that might give me some options here. Oh, it looks like it might be... Yeah, he's our third one. That's really unlucky because if it was like a dupe, then I can open up uh, Ultimate Death Knight. I can plus one my Ultimate Death Knight, for example. But he's my third Scartosis. Scartosis. Not very lucky here for me today, but it is what it is. It's all good. Getting gold is always good. So anyways... 
that's going to be it for the video, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed those Sacred Shard pulls. Best of luck on your pulls if you guys are pulling, of course. Uh, let me know if you guys pulled something sweet. Maybe somebody pulled the Faction Unity Champion. That would be pretty cool. Pretty low chance, but you never know. Somebody's going to pull him somewhere. Let me know in the comments below how you guys did. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you guys in the next video.